Hi, I am Sneaky Shake Karaga. I am from Zhenghua Primary School. I am participating in the Global Cup for Space Rescue Singapore. First steps under 12. My team ID is SG224020. Executive Summary of the Luminary Challenge Since I'm participating in the first step under 12, I have to first pick up the colorful object, second, avoid the walls, third, deposit the objects, and fourth, stay away from the track. And as a result, I got 1,395 points. And the conclusion is I got into the final. How to win? So firstly, if my robot sees a wall, turn away or else my robot will just keep banging into the wall. If my robot senses an object with the color sensors, I must pick it up. If my robot is in a deposit, I must deposit to earn points for my robot. And number four, if my robot senses yellow, also move away as we don't want to get into the trap and lose points. So this is strategy number one that I use. So if loaded objects equals zero, that means I don't have any objects. I must collect more objects, so then we can ignore the trap and deposit, because I have nothing. Then loaded objects, which is from one to five, I must collect more objects and avoid the trap, or else I will go into the trap and lose points. And I can still deposit. And if I Six, I must ignore the objects since I'm fully loaded, or else I'll waste time. And I must still avoid trap and go deposit. And this is strategy two for preliminary round. So in the preliminary round, I noticed that the blue area was against the wall, and it contained black objects. So I programmed it to follow the wall to go there and earn many points. Black objects are worth 20 points, and in the blue zone, it will be worth double of it, so I'll earn 40 points. And when I've collected less than 4 objects, it cannot come out of the blue zone until it has collected 4 objects. And this was my first run, and sometimes my robot will get stuck in the individual closet. So I changed some code and it could work. The blue area sometimes had lesser or more black objects, so I could not move out. I changed it so that it had three objects, then it can move out. But sometimes the blue area only has like three or two, lesser than four or five, so I will get stuck in the blue area and not be caught it. And this is the final. As you can see, my robot bounced off the wall and it's now avoiding the trap. When it senses the black object, it will pick it up and earn 20 points. When it senses the sign object, it will pick it up and earn 15 points. Now, when my robot sends to deposit, it will go and deposit the object into it. My robot just ignored the trap just now as it zero object. And now my robot is picking out a red object. Wow, my robot got RGGBB, which will get me 180 points. And since I fully loaded, it ignores all the other objects and goes to the, into the deposit. 
And there I go. 185. Apply knowledge gained to the real world. Now in Coast Range Rescue, there are areas like the blue areas that you need to remember to stay, just like a policeman. In some areas, in under HDED blocks, there are some gathering areas where policemen can gather together and discuss. So they have to remember which areas to gather together. The ultrasonic sensor is very useful as the robot may bang into a wall and break. Some robots are very, very fragile, so in real life it will break if you bang into a wall. Especially cleaning robots. Because some of them are vacuum cleaners and they can move around on the floor. They are also very small. So later the human can accidentally kick it. That's why they designed the ultrasonic sensor so that it, the humans will not accidentally kick it and it will move away. 